Hello everyone and welcome to something that's a bit different today. Now, normally I do football manager videos, as you know. However, I've decided to give something back to the whole content creators community. And that seems a bit strange to begin with, right? However, let me explain what's happening today. So, instead of just giving you some football manager content today, I'm giving back by giving all you potential content creators out there a chance to see some free software that you can use to build and establish your audience, whether it be here on YouTube, on Twitch, Facebook Gaming, you name it, wherever it is, this is the free content that you can use. So if you fancy yourself as the next Lolojo, or the next A Drive if you're into Pokemon, or a Heart Surviving player, or anything along that lines, then you've come to the right place. I'm here to give you some guidance on how to use the software. So all I can say is sit back, relax, and yeah, enjoy my turtleneck and some unique co content. But if this content is something that you're interested in, then like, share, subscribe, comment. That'd be amazing. And I'll see you guys after the um, introduction video. So the first piece of free software that we're going to look at is going to be your bread and butter. If you use Twitch, if you want to use YouTube, whatever it may be, Facebook Gaming, OBS is your place, essentially, okay? So if you want to see quick hints on the free bits I'm going to give you, they're in the browser above. However, if you want to go a bit more in depth, stay here. Now, OBS is absolutely free. What can you get that's free in life that's amazing? Well, everything I'm giving you today. But... First of all, we're going to start with OBS because this is where you need to start. You can't record content without something to record it on, you know. And obviously you need your hardware and all that jazz. But I'm not a hardware expert. I'm not going to deny that. Or I can say I am because I'm not. But I know my software. And OBS is a great software to use, okay. So it's simple. You can use it on Windows. You can use it on Apple. And you can use it on that cute little penguin that's called Linux. Now... When you're on here, it's simple, it's straightforward, it's so easy that I could have my nana sitting right here next to me and she'd be able to show you, okay? But we'll get into that in a second. Now, all you need to do to install it is download and install it for whatever bit you need. Yes, you can download via BitTorrent, you can download zip. Yes, you can download and install it. You have no good anything to hide, you're not living in an embassy like, oh ho, ha ha. No, no, just download the installer, nice and easy. Bish, bash, bosh, follow the instructions, follow your uncle, sorted. Now, they do come with a lovely little help bit. But, yeah, all you need to do to download this, obsproject.com slash download. It's simple. And so you know you're at the right page, that's how it is. And this gives you a brief overview. That's good. And we'll go into this right now. Ah, we're here. Now we've got Infinity Me's going all the way back, which is really cool. Not really, it's quite annoying. But, this is OBS, okay? So on here, see I've got one for my face, which you all see to start. You've got my in game, if I was on Twitch for example. I've got my Twitch BRB. This is my in game recording that you will see on Football Manager quite often. Google, which is what we've been using. And then we've got OBS, which is in and in and in and But, it's simple to use. Now, I'm going to create something straight off the back, okay? I'm going to create a new scene. This, I'm just going to show you how easy it is. So this is going to be imagination. Nice and simple because everyone's got imagination. Now you jump on there. It's got absolutely nothing. Okay. So when you're in sources, all you need to do is hit this plus button. What do I want in? Well, I'd like the browser. So you hit browser and you can add all the ones you've got. So browser 4, for example. Boom. A BRB screen. I did not know that. And then you're thinking, well, I want to be able to see myself in this one, so you just hit video capture device, add existing, boom. And then you can just adjust it to the size you need. It can be all over the place. You can be a little tiny in the corner. It's your preference. And OBS is amazing for this. It helps build up everything you need. And you can even install 
stream elements to it if you use it for Twitch. I stopped twitching, but I have used it before. And I will recommend it. Honestly, go out there. If you're a content creator, you need OBS. It's the most simple tool to use. That's all I can say. Let's move on to the second tool that I'm giving you today. And that is the tool to edit your videos. And number two is a free software. Again, free. That's the thing in this video. I'm saving you money. I'm not telling you to go out there and get anything that's pro or anything like that. You can get this for free. Now, DaVinci Resolve. What is it? It is your cutting tool. It's your pasting tool. It's your making tool. And I'll show you when we go in depth with that. But, I just want you to know this about DaVinci Resolve. And I've seen this on a YouTube video. I've researched it and it's true. DaVinci Resolve is that popular. Not just in, you know, content creator world. It's that popular that Hollywood producers even use it. So, it shows you, and you get a free version. Which, yeah, isn't as amazing as it is. You could get the full version if you've got $295, so that's what, about 250 quid. But, I use the free version. So, if you like my then, here you go. And it's simple to use. Meh, there we go. Hollywood's number one post solution. What did I say? But yeah, you don't need to spend the big bucks to get results. And it's a nice simple website. Played out. It gives you guides on what you're doing. You could hit Fairlight. What's Fairlight? That tells you what Fairlight is. It's even got a man bursting through a door. That's awesome. That's amazing. And then, oh, oh, this is how Fairlight works. You choose when the audio goes in. It's just incredible but we'll go back to the overview and i'll show you what you need to have to download it okay this is it just need to go products davinci resolve would you like to resolve davinci 17 or would you like resolve studio 17 studio is the one that costs money Um, i found that out by complete accident because i downloaded this and it was like what's your licensing code i was like ah don't have a licensing code that means you cost money. This is the free one. And this is the one we're going to go look into right now. So you can see here. And it's simple. So this is out all my projects. Now you've got your story ring as a project. So imagine it like an art folder. If you've done art in high school. Or for me it'd be history. Because I had all these big bulky folders. Hey, this isn't the history of Edinburgh FM. This is helping you guys. So, just hit new project. For this one, I'm calling it Imagination. If anyone wants to link the Imagination song from South Park in the description below, comment away with that. But if you're going to do that, make sure you like the video. Because one like makes a happy Edinburgh. More than one like, like, I don't know, 10 likes as a target, for example, makes a very happy Edinburgh. So, we've done that. This opens up. Okay? Now, it's got all this, and now it looks scary, and I'm going to move my head, okay? So just give me a second, I'm going to move my head up here. So I'm just going to talk you through this quickly. You've got Media, Cut, Edit, Fusion, Colour, Fairlight, Deliver. Now the ones I mainly use, okay, are Media, Edit, and Colour. Occasionally Fairlight, and also use Deliver at the end. Now, I'm going to talk you through this, okay? So first of all, you get your videos up. Now you're going to see a few videos from right now, because... I don't just pause, cut, edit. I know when I want to do it. I've got a specific way. So, these are videos that are going to be popping on the screen. Now, I'm going to give you my test video. I'm going to put in my like, share, subscribe. Little thumbs up thing that you see. And I'm going to put in my own intro and outro. These are legit things that I use. These are nothing for dummies whatsoever, okay? So, put them in the media pool. Change the frame rate. Why do you change frame rate? Because when it renders, it merges them all together and makes them nicer. But that's not the only thing. So, if you want to cut, you can cut, okay? So, say with this video, I want to cut something out. It gives me that whole malarkey there, right? So, what bit do you want to cut out? Go down the video and you say, right, well, maybe I want to cut somewhere around here or somewhere around here. Okay? You just choose your parts. 
I'm not an expert in cutting, I'm not going to lie. So, if you want that, there will be videos to link to what I've used. That will give you more guidance. That I've given to other people as guidance. They'll all be in the description. But one part I'm good at, they didn't give her. So I'm just going to have to move my wee head again. Pop myself over here. See, right? That's already there, but maybe you don't want that there. So, delete your timeline. Yeah, let's delete the timeline. So now you think, right. Now we're going to start this. Well, this is my test video. So, I'll put that there. I'll put that there, right? Like, share, subscribe. Put that there. But, that, that volume looks too enriched. It sounds too loud. Okay, so, normalize audio levels. And they shrink. And your audio levels sound better. Better for your audience. Now you go into your intro. I know what you're thinking. I could have put myself on a test and all that. But hey. I make things up on the fly. If you're watching any of my stuff on my channel, you know that. But I'm saying, normalise the audio. Done. Done. So I'm looking through my mic's arm. So it makes me sound like that. Then I'll pop in my outro. My outro man who made this, Handmaster Young. Absolute trooper. So, normalise the audio. Normalise the audio. It means that audio and that audio is now the same. If you look at this, go, well, why have you done it twice? It sharpens it up. Simple as that. It just, it just does. I don't know why. But it sharpens it up. Now, that's brilliant. But what about colour? I look too pale. Maybe I do. So, I'm just going to go up here this time. See, right here. What's the scale? So, maybe I want a bit more green, for example. Okay. But maybe I'm too green. So, let's go for a nice tinge up here. Alright, okay. So, I've dragged that up there. Make it a bit more stylish. So, let's go for a pink gain. Okay, cool. Then we'll go for an offset. And, bosh. I will be adding this post so you can see what it's like after a render but this whole intro is now going to be done in that colour nice and bright and scary some people might say personally I don't think so I think this is good you should be scared a lot in life and this is why so now we go okay cool let's go to deliver and now I need to move my head again so just bear with me I put myself here because right now none of this matters okay all that matters now is how you deliver it YouTube Bemo Twitter, Dropbox, they've all got preset options, look at that. But then, I'm a YouTuber, so, YouTube, test. Save that. I hit add to render queue, and then I just hit render all, and it comes up there. How long does it going to take? Well, it takes 25 seconds, so, I think that's 25 seconds that we can use, together. And watch this video. It was good that wasn't it? And you can see the colour so I'm talking about. More vibrant. More fancy. But yeah. Once you've done that. Right. Once you've rendered. File. Save project. Done. Your folder is done. But now you've got the software to record. You've got the software to edit. But what's the other eye-catching thing you need for a YouTube video? Thumbnail. Now do you want it somewhere free to make a thumbnail? So, by free, I mean that you don't need to pay for it. Like other things, like, um, I don't know, something like Photoshop or anything along those lines. So, you're thinking to yourself, there's no way that you can get free software. Well, my friends, I'm about to prove you wrong because there is free software for thumbnails and the site I've used until recently. Right, so I'm just going to be, um, right, test. Um, ahead of introducing everyone, I guess, to the free software. So, make one, make two, test, 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 test.
And here we are. The wonderful world of Adobe Spark. Now, I found this site by complete accident. I was making thumbnails with my Edinburgh City series and they weren't quality, they weren't good. But I found Spark. And Spark lets you... I don't know how to describe this. It gives you templates that you can work off. So, I'll show you some of my previous projects and I'll show you how it's used. But, I swear to heavens above, it is the most simple thing in the world. So you can see here, this was a little thing I've done for a friend to show how easy it is to use um, Adobe Spark. But you can see here, there's one for an athletic when I've got arrows. Now, I don't take credit for these two. They're all credo. I just slap the numbers on them. But, I take credit for rebuilding Arsenal. I take credit for that. I take credit for that. And you can see I've done some random designs. But yeah, this creates a portfolio that you can save and you can keep. There's my Ajax. You may be thinking, well, where did you get all these templates from? Because, how did you come up with it? Now, it's templates. So you just, once you're on here, and you've signed up, you can sign up using your Google account, you can sign up using Facebook, you can sign up using a lot of things. I'm not promoting this in the sense of, you know, you're going to pay me for this. I'm promoting this in the sense of, you should use this. Like you should like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that notification bell, share with your mother, share with your father, share with your friends, share with whoever you want. But, all you need to do on here, see it tells you, my name, it gives you all the stuff that you can do, Facebook posts, Instagram, but you're thinking, oh, yeah, that's fine, where's YouTube? Aha! YouTube fun thumbnail. Now, one tip I will give you, okay? If you see that little sort of yellow bookmark, it means don't use it. We need you to pay for that. So, yeah, well, it is free in a sense. Not free at the same time. So, I'm going to take this one, for example, right? Colour into theory, I think that was called. Yes, it was. So, we, we're going to jazz this up in our own style, okay? Now, what am I thinking here? I'm thinking we'll do an off-key random thing together right so first of all the black background that's fine but i'm going to replace that with an image so that gives you free photos or you could use your own photos so let's go for and you're getting sneak previews in the videos here let's go for this background which was made famous by yours truly oh now look i've just changed that so Maybe I need something else added to it. So what's in here? No, nothing I can use. So, oh my, I've got my own badge here. Okay, so maybe I want to show myself off in this. So, oh, it's my old badge and it's sitting right here. So maybe I desize that and pop myself into the corner. Okay, so there we go. Now, I want to change the name of this. Colour, intro theory. Yeah, it's amazing. How about... Like, share, and subscribe. That is simple, wasn't it? All I needed to do there was type away and edit. It was that simple. And then, yeah, you've got endless possibilities as well, though, because you can also do you can add different colours. You've got your current colours. So I could be like, yeah, I want to go more green. This intro. Look at that. Simple. It is. And you can even move that up here. So it's an intro to like, share, and subscribe. But and you can change the colour of the text, so you could be like, well, maybe more lilac. Boom, lilac on blue. That's just once again, it's simple. And then you can think, okay, maybe I want to use some icons. So, man juggling balls. There he is. He's juggling the balls. Wonderful. He can be down here in the corner, and you see, you can just add to it and play around with it. You don't need to spend money. They have something that looks half decent. And I will show you some prime early examples of that right now. So some of you may remember my rebuild on Arsenal save. Now all that was, and I ain't gonna lie, so I'm gonna take this down, was a Google stock image of the Emirates Stadium. An image here. We've got another two images, so if I'm remembering my Arsenal players right, we've got Tierney, Smith Rowe, Saka. Simple, okay? Now I could have made Saka bigger. Boom, Saka's bigger. But maybe he's too far in front, so maybe I move that like that. 
That's the same front. Now, if you foot manager to put a 22, you're thinking, that's a different colour than most people have. A filler! Boom! Add a filler. Do I want to darken it? Do I want to grayscale it? Do I want to mate it? See, there's different options. This is all free. That's the thing. You go dual tones, right? And then you can swap it. Boom, black with a red fruit. Red with a black fruit. Go with a yellow with a black. If you are, I don't know, Borussia Dortmund. There's a nice pink and a sort of blue colour. You know, there's different things. And this is things that I've done myself. I didn't go out and ask people to do this for me. And it's simple things that you can do yourself to help build your channel. Now, something else you can do. See how we've got Rebuild Arsenal, right? Enter the game, you can make them better. Put the Arsenal badge there. It's just it's easy to use. And then, see the shape. That's red colour around there. Got the shadow, take that away, boom. So, yeah, it's. Shape is just that bar. So I could have changed that bar to, I don't know, black. Well, that's an off black, but you get what I mean? Or dynamic purples. You know, there's all these things that you can do. They're free to do, guys, okay? Two of them are downloads. One of them's an internet app that stores your projects and you can come back and you can tweak and you can edit. I'm not claiming to be changing the wheel here. But I'm, what I am doing is I'm helping any new content creator coming onto the market to say, hey, these are free stuff for you to use. You don't have to spend a lot to be good. Yes, you probably will end up having to spend in the future, once you become bigger, you want edits that are better and sleeker. But at this moment in time, you're just starting out. Hey, this is the software for you. I've been Edinburgh FM, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye for now.